Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be starting a brand new series and if you can't already tell from the title or the thumbnail it is about my life. So it is going to include my sim self as well as my boyfriend sim self and essentially our journey so far although some of the details of the journey I'm sure are going to be made up but some might be true. So if you've been a part of my Twitch community where I might have talked about previous experiences or whatever then you may notice some little easter eggs throughout this series but I intend for this to be a bit more of a relaxed series rather than like my Sims in Bloom challenge where there's always something to focus on. I'm just going to kind of make it up as I go along and just see where The Sims takes us. So my sim self was made by Michi Fangirl 2 on The Sims 4 Gallery and Alex's I think I made. However, I have edited Michi's one and added a little bit of my own CC. I am not that good at creating sims, especially when I'm creating them to look like somebody else, if that makes sense. So it, it has my curly hair and my brown eyes and that is my sim self. And maybe somebody else created Alex's. I can't remember if I made it or if someone else did, to be honest. But I've added CC to Alex's sim self as well and I will insert a picture of Alex on the screen now so that you can compare. It's not exactly like him. It doesn't quite capture him. I tried to add the dimples. There was like a, a cheek preset that had dimples, but it just doesn't seem to show. So you can't see Alex's deep dimples, unfortunately. But that is Alex's himself and mine. And this is actually the house that we currently live in. So from the outside, it definitely does not look like this. I just did it that way so that like for privacy reasons to keep me and Alex safe. It doesn't look like this from the outside, I'm afraid. But on the inside, it does in fact look like this. And I'll give you a quick tour. So we come in through the front door and ignore this first door for a second, but we go into the second door and we're in this little dining room, which is pretty much decorated like this. And then through these French doors, we are then into our lounge living room, which this is pretty much a spitting image of what it looks like. And the reason I told you to ignore that door is because we don't use it. So in this house, that that door is currently blocked by this big sofa basically although at the minute it is November so we have a Christmas tree here but I'm not gonna put it because we're not in December Christmas time in the game but then we come out through here and in this area under the stairs we have got the washing machine and also it's not as clean as this I'm just gonna remove buster dust let's just turn that off by the way if you have not already made yourself a cup of tea or coffee please go make it pause this video go make a cup of tea as I was saying not that tidy it's also not an arch and it is a door but I don't know if I put a door if the sims can actually access that so I've left it as an arch for now. We then go down a small step and we're in this kitchen which again I've tried to get it as exact as possible so that is the kitchen and then we go out to the garden which actually isn't veering off to the right in real life it is actually like down the garden in that way but this is pretty much how we have it except a couple of things are not in the right place alex also does not have this kind of machine in the back garden but i'm sure his sim self will want it so anyway back out into the hallway and we go up the stairs at the end of the stairs we have got a bathroom which this is pretty much what our bathroom looks like there is not a mirror here and it's actually on the back of the door and also i now have like a store under the cabinet storage unit sort of thing here so that has got a load of bits there but and then this room is like it's got shelves and towels and I think that's where the not the boiler but the hot water tank that's where that is um, but then along this hallway we are then into the room that I am in now and I've tried to create the background as best as I can I know I could probably add a few bits to these shelves but this is what my office looks like that for some reason is floating through here that is definitely not sunk into the ground so I'm just gonna shimmy that up my desk with my pc set up I don't actually have the laundry basket in here it's actually out here and like in front of this this isn't a bookshelf it's like um shelves of storage kind of like a shelving unit of storage and then we've got two laundry baskets in front of that for colors and whites this is kind of the only space that I can put it and then I've got a few bits here that I like a fan and a shredder 
um, and other random bits here. And then this is in fact a sofa bed, so that does pull out, but it's just a sofa for now. And yeah, that's pretty much also not gonna put the Christmas tree, but that's pretty much what my office looks like. And then at the end of the hall is our bedroom, which pretty much looks like this. There's a few bits and bobs like on the side tables. I have like a vanity set up here, except it's not a chair like this. It is, it doesn't have a back to it. It's just like a stool. And then I do eventually wanna get maybe a mirror here. Alex isn't letting me get a TV in the bedroom because he thinks I'll never leave the bed, which is probably true, but I also want a TV in the bedroom. But at the minute at this space, we do have curtains now actually. When I last built this, so if you don't know, I have done a video here on my YouTube channel building this house. So if you do wanna go check that out and see the whole process and me talking through it, then just search Tad's Kabaz building my home or something like that. But when I must've built this, we wouldn't have had curtains, but our landlord did let us add curtains. So we now do have them. I'm gonna pop these in and we have got pink curtains. They're like a blush pink, a bit of a deeper sort of color than that, but they fit in really nicely. The theme in our bedroom is kind of gray. Also, we now have a bed that exactly looks like our bed, which came in the modern luxe kit. This is pretty much what our bed looks like. It's uh, It's got a gray back here to it. And then I normally have like a pink duvet set or like a gray and green one on. I'm gonna switch between a few that I like. So a few updates to the bedroom. This is also annoying me. So I'm just gonna size these down. Oh my goodness. When we only had blinds in this bedroom, it was torture. But now we've literally got blackout curtains. So it's perfect. They go round the window kind of thing. The frame goes round. So not only is the curtain here, but it's also like there as well. So perfect for a light sleeper like me. But yeah, that is our bedroom. And that is the house that we are currently living in. It is a rental. So we don't own it. We just rent it. And yeah, saving for a forever home, I guess. Or saving for our, our first house together. First bought house at the minute. But I decided from the get-go to move us into this house because knowing my Sims with my mods, especially MC Command Center, if I'd have put us in two separate houses, Alex probably would have ended up married with like five kids before I've even gotten the chance to ask him to be my boyfriend. Actually, he asked me. He asked me. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Let's just jump into it and see where this takes us. I am going to start us on a bit of a lower money amount. So let's maybe start with, let's do less. Let's make it harder for ourselves and let's start with a grand and we will join careers. So obviously I do this as my full-time job. What a sim. Tad's just stopped what they were thinking about for a moment and found themselves staring at Alex Miller. That man has so many of the qualities that make Taz's heart race as if it were on a cross-country marathon. Their handsome features meet Taz's desires. It's gone. <laughs> Anyway, I do social media. There are two options here. We can go with Simfluencer, video game streamer, which I obviously do on Twitch, or we can just jump straight into the social media. I think, why don't we go through them all? So I think maybe let's start with video game streamer and I think we'll do, oh God, that's an early shift. 5.30 a.m. till 7.30 p.m. Are you able to do two at the same time? So could I do that one? Oh, let's choose my avatar. I'm gonna choose myself. Can I do that one? because it's part-time as well as maybe the content creation one. A work assignment is to cross promote at a venue. Okay, you can try that. Alex is already talking to me. Sounds like real life. <laughs> Just chatting my ear off. He's still talking to me. I'm on my phone. Okay, can we also jump into the social media one? Oh, should Taz switch activities? She'll quit her current position. Okay, let's not quit yet. Speak of the devil, messaging me. Okay, so obviously I had an attractiveness alert about Alex. I perceive him as extremely attractive. Um, where is his attractiveness alert about? me. Oh, I, he perceives me as very attractive. Okay, but not extremely attractive though. <laughs> we need to work on that. I'll have to get Alex maybe here on, on the next video to confirm this. <laughs> but let's jump into a career for him. So Alex actually works as an engineer. He is a senior engineer at a supercar company. So we are going to get him in the engineer career and his career branches are computer engineer and mechanical engineer. So he actually studied aerospace engineering at university. So like pilot and flying planes and stuff like that, which he's gone into cars. So similar, I guess, mechanical. Do you know what? I'm not even going to pretend that I know. Yeah. <laughs> Work assignment is to optimize equipment design. Okay, let's have a little look. So 
He's got work Which tomorrow. I also have work tomorrow. Do we start work? Maybe we should. Our love life and our relationship is very important, but also work is as well. So I need to reach level two of the entrepreneur skill and I need to reach level two of the video gaming skill. And I also need to cross promote at a venue. Alex has to optimize equipment design at a computer. Okay, so I love how he's following me everywhere I go, firstly. Um, our like relationship started at no and they're just chatting on their own and it's going up which is amazing the only computer we do have in the house actually is, is mine but alex has his own one for work so that's why i added this into the dining room so i am gonna get him to go and optimize equipment design and start working i would focus on our love life but considering we've only got a grand we do need to start focusing on our career as well and taz you need to achieve level two video gaming skill are you able to use this as a normal computer or oh you can okay why don't you go and play some sims forever literally what i'm doing right now and work on that video gaming skill we actually don't have a kind of playstation or xbox or gaming system downstairs but it might be something that i actually do get and invest in for them so that they can play games down here as well but we don't have that i did have them growing up but we don't have that now alex does have a switch but we actually never use it to be fair but here i am video gaming <laughs> Is that what I look like currently right now playing Sims? Oh, look at this. Is this um, trippy? You're watching, you're currently watching me play the Sims watching me play the sims that's weird isn't it but at least she's working on her video gaming skill can sims by the way sleep in the same bed if they're like not good friends because is this going to be an issue is alex gonna have to spend the first night on the sofa i mean he would sleep absolutely fine on the sofa alex is very much like that he can fall asleep anywhere at any time whereas i'm like the opposite i take Whoa. half an hour tossing and turning before i fall asleep this monstera we've actually got a monstera in this corner of the room it's definitely not as large as this just yet although there's probably the same amount of stems i would say but anyway we're focusing on our careers maybe tomorrow we'll go on a little date maybe alex will take us on a little date but it's kind of an interesting one because me and alex were friends before we you know started dating and before we th even thought about our relationship we met at our friend's wedding so i was one of the bridesmaids he was one of the groomsmen um we met we measured hands because he got introduced to me as the friend who they can always rely on and he's got big hands and I was like oh, I've got big hands we measured hands that was it pretty much the only interaction we then um with a load of friends all went away chit chatted then nothing really came of it and then um yeah he, we started messaging and um in June he asked me to be his girlfriend so yeah we've nearly been together well we've been together for about a year and a half but I'm sure you'll hear a little bit more about some stories and whatnot throughout this series it's very weird I must say it's really, really weird doing a gameplay in our house because this is where I am right now. It's so strange. Are these lights on, by the way? How do you turn them on? Are they on? Can't even tell. So I have fairy lights, as you can sort of see behind me. But there's also an elf on the shelf. So it does say here to get the entrepreneur skill up, engage in side hustles or jobs and freelance careers. So I don't know what a side hustle is, to be honest. But I know that you can find odd jobs, I think, through here, can't you? Not find a job. Find an odd job. That's it. So once she's done a little bit of video gaming, I will get her to find an odd job actually let's do that now because it might be there might be one this evening and it's already getting dark and once alex finishes his optimization or whatever it is he's doing i'll get him to make some dinner make a start on dinner um okay begins asap they want lawn maintenance done 23 pound an hour or begins asap oh you need like photography level two okay let's do this lawn maintenance one does she go and do that now starts at 6 p.m on monday does she do i have to click on her to go do it I don't know. Also, how long will it take? Maybe Alex can make a start on dinner and then he can have it ready for her when she gets home. 96 simoleons. Is that what you got from doing that oh what was my work from home assignment travel to a non-residential venue and then cross promote using the phone's business app okay i don't know if i'm gonna be able to do that before work tomorrow 5 30 in the morning there is no way uh, me irl irl taz would never be awake at 5 30 a.m to stream why don't we serve some let's do mac and cheese for dinner i'm not seeing any of our you know usual go-to's for dinner yet but i guess we need to get our cooking skill up before we can even think about them okay am i going off to the odd job 
Yes, I also have an outfit like this, believe it or not. You may have seen it if you follow me on my Instagram page, which is Tazkabaz and it's Tazkabaz everywhere. But I do actually have an outfit like this, which is why I did put it on her. But she's off to do an odd job and Alex has just acquired the cooking mm. skill. He can now prepare delicious, straightforward classics. I'm off to work. So it's not giving me the option to like work hard or anything, which is fine. So we'll just see how we get on. It's so weird <laughs> watching Alex cooking. To be fair, in terms of cooking in this house, it depends on like who's home. So it, Alex does his strongman training. So he will often be at the gym or doing his training in the evenings. So in those evenings, nine times out of 10, I would be the one preparing dinner. Whereas on the weekends and stuff, sometimes we do it together or sometimes Alex will do it as well. It depends how I'm feeling. If like I'm mentally not too good, then Alex, like, I'll probably just leave it for him to do. But cooking's one of those ones where we kind of split it. We do have jobs that I do most which is like the laundry or like cleaning the sink, toilet, shower, bath, that kind of thing. And Alex will take the bins out, do the washing up. We do also have a dishwasher, but it's quite a small, narrow dishwasher. So a lot of the things do need to be washed up. So he'll do that. And just other things, you know, where I prefer not to do them and he'll do them or, you know, vice versa. Okay, Alex, why don't you this evening go and do a little bit of a workout? I know that we've got this in the back garden, but we can also maybe take him to the gym at some point as well and that can be his like even in his strongman training as per se adding the realism into the game this is so weird i love it though because obviously i spend a lot of time here making videos in in real life like i spend a lot of time at home whereas alex is out at work all day and then he's out at his training and whatnot so it's kind of nice to have his sim self here to keep me company while i'm here just working i guess it's quite quite hot orvin I, I completely forgot as well sorry that i'm only doing this now but alex's aspiration is bodybuilder speaking about his strongman training i thought i'd give him that because his job isn't going to be to do with like strength or anything like that because that's not what he does in real life so his aspiration is bodybuilder and his traits are active romantic and it's gone <laughs> but active romantic and cheerful i'm just going to remove that because that is not true that's my mods doing that. Um, and that is very true. He is very romantic and he is the most cheerful person I've ever met in my life. Like I struggle with my mental health. I've spoken about it before, but the only person that can truly cheer me up and that can truly make me laugh in general, people do make me laugh, but the only person that knows properly how to make me laugh is my boyfriend, is Alex. Um, so my aspiration is big happy family. I don't know how I've spent 60 smolians on kids stuff already, but alas. And my traits are family oriented dog lover and romantic so i'm gonna leave that as is because it picked the right one but yeah those are our traits and aspirations apologies because i should have oh should have shown you that in the beginning but success for a beachside property there really was a magically surprising amount of grass in that yard even so taz manicured that lawn with skill precision making vince a very happy customer vince assured that taz would be getting a favorable review and we got 69 simoleons perfect okay right why don't you come on in. Taz, why don't you go and get some dinner that Alex very kindly prepared for you and then use the toilet, take a shower and head to bed. You've got to be up early to stream tomorrow. I'm also very wow. unsure as to whether or not we will be able to sleep in the bed together. And also speaking of gardening, I would probably never, I've never mowed a lawn in my life. And we also don't have a lawn mower here. So we do have a gardener that comes and will mow our lawn for us. It came with the rental property. And we recently actually found out that the reason for that is because because the previous tenants that lived here, they basically ruined the garden. So it was lovely. There used to be like cherry trees or apple trees or something in our back garden. I think it was apple trees. And then they let it get so overgrown to the point where even the grass was like as high as the fences. Our ne next door neighbor now was telling us. And um, it became so unruly that they then had to pay someone to come in and sort the garden out. So I think now when our landlord, you know, put the property up for the next people to rent they made sure to include a gardener so that it never got to that stage before or so they never got to that stage again right alex i'll wait until taz has her shower and then you can go ahead and have your shower because you're getting a very stink this is very real <laughs> very real coming back from a strongman workout and being a stinker but you've also got work at 9 a.m so let's come on upstairs and let's go and take a shower get to bed oh did i not have a shower i didn't 
have a shower before bed. Okay, Stinky, you do that. I haven't even done anything before work. I'm gonna see, like, is, is there a chance for a promotion with this whole casual streaming thing? Or is it just you stream? Because maybe we'll do this for a few days and then switch. We'll see. Okay, go shower. Oh, is this in the way? Is that why you can't get in the shower? Let me move that to there and see if Alex can get in the shower now. Can you get in now? Right, that was in the way. Apologies, Taz. No shower for you tonight. But at least we figured that out. I haven't actually play tested this house so we may come across things where i'm like oh gosh gotta sort that out perfect taz you also got in on the wrong side of the bed that is my side of the bed did i say on the wrong side the right side of the bed he can't get into the bed because taz is in it oh dang it okay alex you're gonna have to go and nap on the sofa i'm afraid <laughs> No bed for you. Did I just see Vlad? What is Vlad doing? There aren't any Vlads in real life that are gonna come and suck my blood. So why are they here? All right, Alex, do your usual sleep on the sofa. There we go. I don't know how good of a sleep he's gonna get on the sofa. I mean, our sofa in real life is actually really comfortable, but in Sims, I'm not so sure. So we will have to see, but you do your naps. Hopefully soon you'll form a bit of a relationship with Taz and then you don't have to worry. Ooh, okay, we have got work. We can go to work. work from home or call in sick no we are gonna go to work so let's get up taz maybe now alex can go and sleep in the bed um what do i normally have for breakfast normally oh i left this out like an eject okay pop that in the bin normally alex makes me a fruit bowl in the morning so i'm gonna go and get a fruit salad out of the fridge normally i will wake up in the morning and uh what was that? I have no idea. Yeah, so I'll wake up in the morning and before Alex goes to work, he cuts up some fruit. He does it for himself as well, but he cuts me up some fruit, pops it into the fridge in a bowl. So when I come downstairs, I just have to get that out and have that. So that is normally my breakfast. I should start looking at universities. I did actually go to university. I did a uh, Bachelor of Arts in Media Studies, graduated a uh, fair few years ago now, but I don't think I'll be focusing on university <laughs> in this particular gameplay because i am going to be starting a new gameplay soon with one of my sims and bloom characters oh my lord we a lot of chopping hands here but yeah starting a university series very very soon so i'm probably not going to focus on that in this particular series although you never know if we keep this series going with like future generations maybe one of them will go to university if this is something that you lot enjoy you might be watching this and be like mm, not a great series taz i'm not enjoying watching you and your boyfriend and watching you just gush over your boyfriend <laughs> So yeah, let me know what you think. What time does Alex finish work? He finishes work at five. Okay, maybe we take them on a date after work once he's home. I'm getting a call. Oh, I'm late for work. Okay, hold on a minute. Go to work. Wait, do I actually have to go to work or can I not do it here? I thought I just sat at that desk and did it. Okay, I'm very late, but I've gone off to work. Stream collaboratively at Internet Cafe. I don't really know what that does, but if I come up here then, when she gets home, what can I do on here? Research business plan i need to get my entrepreneur skill up can i not like stream on here socialize no not social networking household no hmm i am confusion i thought that i could like stream on here alex what time have you got work my love 9 a.m okay why don't we get you up because you're normally <laughs> normally up by now oh i didn't even eat my fruit bowl okay alex will eat it for me he does that in real life as well. Anything I don't eat, he will eat. He'll finish up for me. So you can go and eat that. We are feeling very energized this morning and a bit sore from working out. This is very true. He was saying the other day that his back was hurting, but you're also feeling flirty. Also, it is half seven and Alex would be at work right now. He starts work at half seven, meant to finish at half four, but he never does. So <laughs> Taz, you are home. So I don't really, oh, you can live stream. Live stream Crypt Creeper. I don't know what that is. I'm guessing it's a game. So go and do that. Oh, you should have had the fruit salad, but Alex has eaten it. Oh, well, <laughs> more realism added here. Alex, you will be going into work today. Alex very rarely has work from home days now. Where he works is a very kind of hands-on job. Oh, look at this. This is literally my setup right now. I've got OBS on that side, the game on the left, except I do have two monitors. Well, I have three, but one work, uh, one doesn't work. The chat is there as well. Oh, this is really cool. Taz has started building fledgling entrepreneur skills. Oh, amazing. And somebody is inviting me to bar two. No. To be fair, me and Alex do like Star Wars, but we're not going to bar two. Now is not the time. Alex is in a very good mood going to work. This whole man, honestly, he is probably the happiest person ever. 
no matter what the world or people throw at him, he just stays positive. Whereas I'm the opposite. <laughs> He's optimistic, I'm pessimistic, and I'm an I, 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 overthinking, anxious ball of a mess. So um, yeah, we balance each other out. <laughs> oh, bless him, little cute head. He's just waiting to go to work. You are gonna have to put some pants on. You can't go to work like this. I mean, you look fine as anything, but you can't go to work half naked. I just will not allow it. Okay, off you go. This is not what he wears to work at all, but he's <laughs> heading off to work. Have a fun time, baby. And I'm here live streaming still. Alex is off to work. Go and work hard. I can get my entrepreneur skill up and my daily task is to do a live stream, which I have just started. So we are going to need to do some laundry today, I think. Oh, the washing machine isn't accessible if I do that. Hmm. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is maybe delete this wall. Do laundry. Okay, there we go. It has to have no arch, no wall, nothing. So, I mean, you, you've seen... You get the gist of what it looks like down there, but... Okay, while the washing's going, I will go ahead and continue the live stream. This is pretty real as well, because I do have a wash on at this current moment in time. I don't know how accurate this is because I have not played a scary game on stream for quite some time now. But this is really cool. The fact it kind of goes through, adds lots of realism in, which I love. Successful stream, Taz gained nine followers, amazing. Okay, let's go and unload and move the laundry to the clothesline and then I'll make myself some lunch. Now we don't have a toasty maker or anything in The Sims, but for example, today I had just a ham and cheese toasty for lunch so that was quite nice oh wait we we can make toasties in sims it's a grilled cheese isn't it or i could do a ham and cheese sandwich let's do a grilled cheese because i guess in america you lot would call call a toasty a grilled cheese i'm pretty sure except you make it like in a frying pan and not like a toasty maker i guess okay the cloves are drying looking good i need a wee and i need some food so once i've had my grilled cheese i'll go do wee wees i kind of need a wee right now to be fair Eat your sandwich, do your wheeze. Taz is feeling flirty. I think it is only right that Alex asks her out on a date. I'm just gonna get her to go and take a very quick shower because her hygiene's, I mean, it's not low, it's not bad, but we're going out on a little date tonight. So go take a shower, maybe go and apply some makeup. Let's do pinks, purples, and gold. Oh my God, this is so, let's do uh, gold eyes and glossy pink lips. I have no idea what this is gonna look like. I kind of want to see. I've actually never done this before. Right, here I am sitting at my at my little vanity like I normally would do. Putting my makeup on, precision to a T. We're putting a bit of blush on, or maybe it's a bit of bronzer, some contour. And what do we look like? Oh, Alex just got promoted to an engineering intern. He now makes 28 simoleons per hour and got a 375 simoleon bonus. <gasps> well done, baby. That's so good. Oh, he's a bit stressed from working too hard. And he had a stressful work day. Sometimes a day of work is just a bit more stress than you can handle. Do you know what? It sounds legit because Alex is very busy and uh, very non-stop at work at the moment. So that sounds very legit. Oh, that's a lot of powder. Is that it? Oh, it's not too bad, actually. We're looking quite cute. Oh, amazing. Right. Now that you're looking cute, Alex is going to go do a wee and then we will ask Taz on a date. Just standing oh, over me up. while I'm sitting at the PC. <laughs> okay, we said yes. Amazing. We are feeling flirty, so definitely down for a date. So Alex and I kind of had two first dates. We had an unofficial first date where we went out for a long old drive in a few different places. But our first official date, we went down to the New Forest and we had pizza and we went stargazing and we went out for a nice little meal as well. So I think, why don't we go to this Isle of Volp National Park and have a little wander around here, maybe a sit down and a chat. And then we'll find somewhere, hopefully that does pizza. Awesome. Having a nice little chit chat, getting to know each other a little bit more. I honestly can't remember like what we really talked about on our first date. I remember some things, but yeah, just getting to know each other a bit really i'm now feeling very confident alex is still feeling stressed would you say that taz embraces the ordinary and likes small talk a bit of small talk from alex has taz thinking sometimes the simpler things in life are worth appreciating even basic conversations that don't go too deep can be nice i do like small talk but i also i do quite like deep discussions
impressions as well, to be honest with you. Like there's nothing better than, you know, trusting someone so much that you're willing to like go deep and have quite a deep conversation with them, which me and Alex literally talk to each other about everything. There is nothing that we do not talk about. <gasps> Alex is feeling confident. Yes, this could be the start of a beautiful relationship. Yeah. And he's now feeling happy because he did get a promotion. Oh, we're now feeling flow. We're feeling a lot of emotions right now. Okay, lots of flirts. <laughs> Things are going well. I think, oh, he's singing. He's declaring his love. I think we will go ahead and go for dinner. If I move the date, are they, is this gonna get like canceled? Hopefully not. Oh, cannot travel because the social event is active. Dang it. Um, I'll tell you what would be great right now, like a pizza truck or something. Is that a thing? I know you can do pizza ovens. Let's get this pizza pop-up. I mean, we didn't actually like go to something like this. We went to like a restaurant, but same sort of thing. So let's go and get some pizza. I can't remember which one I had. I think it was like a chickeny kind of one. Alex can get a kebab pizza. Oh, let's get, let's just get a party size so we can share. Go on, Alex. Oh, over you go and order. Oh, we're sitting on the same side. How romantic. How did I end up with this drink? What am I drinking? Where, what am I drinking? Where did I get it from? And how did it come into my hand. I have no idea, but Taz needs to get in a flirty mood. <gasps> Yay! Okay, pizza. Let's bring this over to our little picnic table. You can sit here and we are gonna take a slice together. Oh, we've moved away. Okay, that's fine. The pizza's there and we're sitting here. We'll do some sly flirts. Oh, not even sly. Oh my God, wait, you can feed a bite of pizza. Where was that? Feed a bite. Oh my goodness, I've never seen that before. Yes, please do that. Stop eating your pizza, Alex. Oh my god, he's eating the whole blooming thing. He has eaten the whole thing. Oh. Dang it, it's not letting me do the feed a bite interaction. That's so annoying. Oh well. Oh my lord, Tad. Jeez Louise, what are they doing? Okay, I think we're celebrating how successful this date has been. I'm gonna get him to ask Tad to stargaze so we can literally relive our date and go stargazing. We actually didn't have like a telescope or anything like that. We actually just was in Alex's car, but Tad shows signs of the caregiver personality archetype. archetype. Caregiver sims are driven by their empathy and compassion to protect and care. Unfortunately, others can exploit their good nature for their own needs. Sounds about right. But here we've got Taz and Alex doing some little stargazing. This is literally what we did, except we weren't laying on the floor. We were just looking at the stars, looking at all the constellations. And um, I have an app where you literally point it up to the sky and it will tell you what star is in the sky, what constellations you can see, what uh, like information about the stars, how far away they are, all sorts of things. And uh, yeah, that's what we actually did on our first date and it was really really cute Alex is illuminated by the stars looking at the vast sky brings inspiration that anything is possible Jester Alex shows signs of the Jester archetype Jester sims live for the moments of joy humor and silliness often though they are irresponsible wasting time by playing around instead of focusing on their goals I mean Alex is definitely like comedy and he's silly and he's very funny but he's not irresponsible I wouldn't say but I do want to see I mean we did have our first kiss on our first date but i'm not getting the option and the date is nearly up oh, first kiss is it gonna happen is, it, is she gonna hopefully imagine if i'm like ah oh. yay taz and alex have had their first kiss yay oh that's so lovely no, we're not woohooing yet. Jeez Louise, calm down. Oh, what a lovely first day. Pizza in the park, first kiss, doing a bit of stargazing. Now we're getting really intimate, but we're feeling very flirty. Coy smiles and flirtatious jokes have set the tone for romance, swirling with feelings of passion and happiness after a first kiss with someone new. And building strong relationships with others is cause for happiness. And they had a good foodies. We had a perfect date and we got a gold medal. Legendary date, there is something special in your Sims household inventory to help remember it. And we just got a sentiment together. Taz is smitten. She's really enamored with Alex and the sight of him makes Taz's heart beat faster. And Alex is smitten with Taz. Taz is deeply in love. Some romantic moments leave a powerful impression and Taz will never forget how she felt even deeper 
in love with Alex. Oh, oh my goodness. Weird. My hopeless romantic oh. heart is just oh, so oh good. God. Taz is also a dog yeah. lover. So um, I think in the next episode, we may have to get a little dog. We do have to become girlfriend and boyfriend in the next episode. That is very important, but we didn't do that on our first date. So uh, I'm not going to let that happen just yet. Ooh, we can now sleep in the same bed. Okay, amazing. I am going to wrap this episode up here, but I hope you enjoyed the first episode of My Life Story. Let me know what you've thought of it down in the comment section below and let me know if you've got any ideas or if you're just happy watching this kind of play out and uh, seeing our love story unfold. And tell me if you're excited for the next episode where I think Taz and Alex will become boyfriend and girlfriend and maybe, maybe we'll get a pup. Maybe. We'll have to wait and see. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Make sure you have subscribed and turned on those post notifications as well. And I will see you in the next video. Take care. See you next time. Taz out.